Hi, I'm Terry Bittner, Account Development Manager with Word Laboratories. Today we're going to talk about the Word Laboratory Soil Health Assessment. Now there are three parts to soil. We have biological part, the chemical part, and the physical. For this test we have two measurements for biological and then one for chemical and one for physical. For the two biological we run the 24-hour CO2 soil respiration. Now how this test is run is we measure out 40 grams of dried and ground soil. We put it in a little cup and we add 10 mil of deionized water, re-wet the soil. That brings the microbial population back to life. We seal it in a jar. We incubate it in a 75 degree incubator for 24 hours. And then we have an instrument called an infrared gas analyzer that we can capture and read the amount of CO2 that the microbes are giving off. The higher that part per million number, the more microbial biomass you have. The other part is the water extractable organic carbon and organic nitrogen. This is the most readily available food source for your microbial population. And we want to make sure that we have enough food. It's similar to if you have a party at your house, you don't want to run short on food for, for the people at your party. Because what are they going to do? If they're hungry, they're going to start tearing apart your house, you know, and trying to find food. In the same way, we do not want to run short because if they don't have enough organic carbon and nitrogen to feed on, they are going to go after the organic matter and also they're going to start breaking down the glues which holds your soil aggregates together. Now, then we move into the chemical part and for this we use our normal chemical extracts that we do on a regular soil analysis. So our standard extract for phosphorus is Malik 3 although we can substitute Olsen phosphorus or Bray P1 phosphorus extract upon request. Malik 3 is also our standard for sulfur. We use ammonium acetate for the cations, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sodium, and then an extract called DTPA for the micronutrients, zinc, iron, manganese, and copper. Now, by using these normal chemical extracts, we accomplish a couple of different things. One thing we can do is we can now report cation exchange capacity and base saturation percentages, um, and that has been asked for by producers many times over. The other thing is we know we will have accurate nutrient recommendations. Our extracts that we use have been calibrated by 50 years of land-grant university research to a yield response and a sufficiency. So in other words, we know what a parts per million measurement for phosphorus, we know whether that's low, medium, or excessive. And so um, that's important when we go to figure up nutrient recommendations. Farmer gives us a crop and a yield goal, and we will turn out, based on the test results, the pounds of nutrient per acre you need to add to meet your yield goal. So that's the chemical part. And then we move into the physical. We have, uh, it's called our Modified Wet Aggregate Stability Test. Now, what this does, we will report back to you a percentage of water-stable aggregates. What makes it modified is that aside from our normal wet aggregate stability we've ran for about three years now, um, that if the soil texture is more than 50% sand, we cannot report a percentage. Whereas on the modified, we are counting the soil grains that are 0.25 millimeters to 2 millimeters in size as an aggregate. Simply because this test is made for farmers and to farmers a sand is an aggregate. It takes in water and holds it and that's what, uh, that, that's what the aggregate stability measures. So kind of going through, um, on the biological we're going to give you a couple of figures that are extremely important. One of them is um, for the water extract of organic carbon and organic nitrogen, we are going to give you an organic nitrogen release in addition to your plant available nitrate and ammonium. This is different from a regular soil test. You can take this as a credit when you're figuring up how much nitrogen to uh, apply for the next year's crop. The other one that we talk about uh, that we see is a, on the results is called percent MAC or percent MAC microbial active carbon. I never want to see this over 100% because that goes back to what I was talking about, um, the people at your party running out of food and eating your, your house. 
Um, if it's over 100%, that tells us that we don't have enough food. We need to increase the carbon and nitrogen in the system to satisfy your microbial population. So that's a little bit about the soil health assessment today. Um, if you have any questions moving forward, you can call the office and uh, as for myself, or there's several members of my team that can help you and uh, explain the test uh, and answer your questions. So thank you very much.